create. What's in the there? Ship parts, yes, please. Might be a too heavy. Okay. Enough of that, but now where? Why we were here? <laughs> uh, civilian outpost. Sensor contact already at this location. So it's a. Um, It's basically a mining place. Platinum, nice. We are going to need some more rare uh, minerals. Gold, yes, please. Gold is used in a, in a semiconductor, so that that means science. For science, uh, I don't. I suppose we are going to need it if we are going to make the outpost. Slightly too big. Okay, that's too, too massive. Funny thing with the Star Citizen is that you can actually, you can crack way too massive rocks if you know what you are doing. Which is kind of fun. But yeah, lot, this game gives me a lot, lot of Star Citizen vibes. Not just buildings and cities and technology. And and co cool cool stuff, uh, but other things as well. But it's it's more like flight simulator type of thing. Okay, so they were uh, Lopet's farm. They had like distress. Let's travel there. But if you have followed me, you know that I'm a sci-fi nerd, so I like space games. So that's that's the thing. Notice that play planet was actually traveling quite fast in that last last scene. Uh, last scene. So it had uh, radial velocity pretty high. I think 
this is bad? Try soup walking on the exterior of a military ship during maneuvers. Hello, what's the... Oh no, gold. So I need the thermal protection here. That's a bit better. That uh, goes to this back. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. I you sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real, but I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. The League of Independent So that they are independent. Good-meaning fools happy to set colonists up in independent space. The promise is freedom. True freedom. If you can fend off all the spacers and pirates, the settled systems can throw it. Wild West. All over. Once again. No arguments here. The spacers have taken out the family's list satellites. So we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite and I'll open a secure channel and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. I have. Twice. I took out the old pickup. Last time I tried, I barely made it out alive. They're using the damn satellites as bait. Uh. This isn't up for facing spacers, but yours. A whole different animal. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment, but I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied. We know when you're ready to launch. Okay, okay let's get to the works then. Failure to communicate. Space a raccoon. Oh no. Oh no. That's a big bigger ship. Time to 
Okay, gravity is in trouble, damn it. Their heaviest ship first. That was ba some bad tactic. I don't know. <laughs> so maybe smallest first. Not, not my idea. <laughs> Jumping out of the mid-flight. That's that's. <laughs> Pilot should always fi fly the ship. Uh, okay. That's probably we are going to lose. And uh, no, I'm. Ah, damn with these keys. Yeah, well, it, this is cool. I'm, I, I, have, I have to admit, this is this is cool that you can actually jump out the out of the cockpit while you are actually fighting. But in practice, the thing that you are that I'm actually going to need to press E, and if I hold the E down, it's something else. Pressure holding. Wait, this is one of the first serious space fights. Well, first, the first serious space fight.
Ah, just. Not, not easy. Good thing, by the way, if I uh, uh, launch my ship, it's going to take me to the quest location on the orbit. Without, but I, I can also use the map and go somewhere else. So that's that's pretty okay. Now it's going better. Slightly better. Target lock. I can actually dock. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Now you can see some boarding action. fighting. We were pretty cheeky. Lots of stuff. Gravity engage, I, I suppose. 
You accumulate the new ship. If you land on the planet or craft jump to another star system, this still become your home ship. Any quest options and pensioners and your previous home ship will be transferred to your new ship. Okay. Yeah, this is not, not 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 really good, but anyway, we are going to need some some pay from this mission. So what we are going to do is actually let me bring the map up. So I suppose if can we. Bring it to the It's Vasco who's who's flying our old ship. Engines critical. Ah, uh, fuck well. Have I idea? Ide ide ah. Uh. Oh, we have contraband. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Okay. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Okay. I wonder what happens now. Commander Ikondi is attention. So I suggest we be on our best behavior. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. Okay, this guy. I'm your ticket out of the mess you've gotten yourself into. That's all you need to know for now. Not this time. So, let me see what we're working with here. <laughs> Seems you fancied yourself a bit of an explorer in the past. That lines up with where you are now. I also see that you're mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Actually, that's happened. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? 
<laughs> Do you kidnap people? I don't think I have a mon many options here. They didn't take my weapons away. What kind of ship are you running here? All right, let's go. So you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Coming in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Yeah. Still, what? it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like what? Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I could. Well, you have a poor imagination then. Well, since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. <clears throat> Once we get rid of all the pirates, the galaxy will be a better place. We've established your level of cooperation with us. I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Attack. <laughs> okay. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, 
One of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Ah, oh, that that woman. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sisdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow uh, okay. to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Yeah, how, how does double agent know which side he's on? That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here. And good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance. And attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Okay. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, are undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. Nice. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles. Rather than blowing holes in them. Well, we have been pretty good about that, that previously. Course. Not. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. Good luck. Okay. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. 
Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Uh, game? Yes. Okay, hello. Hello. When you are captain. Okay, this is our new ship, new old ship. I was basically thinking that I would, I would go and uh, there's, there's there's still bodies are on, on board. So I would like preferably sell this ship. That's by the way, that's big big ship. They have a whole fleet. Undocking complete, Captain. Let's make a save before I'll test. Can I actually continue my mission or l l rather idea? No contraband on ship. Okay, so I get some credits if I if I delete items. And it's it's it has some more value. So it's directly uh, comparable to the amount of modules in the ship. So how how, how expensive it, it, it is. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, so let's let's sell this. You cannot sell your whole ship. Um, how could how do how do I change my home ship? Sure, how about it? That's actually jumping much bigger, bigger way than my f former ship Frontier. <laughs> That's only a 18 light years. Make home ship. H. Okay. Now 
Now I can now, now I can actually sail it. Interesting design on the satellites in, in this game. They are they are circular. Of course this is this is pretty effective form because you can stuff lots of the green light is on, which means communications is up. Sending the data on the other satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? <laughs> it's gonna take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families. Let's see what's what's there. Probably more more ships. Well, that would be sad. Yeah, three ships. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, we need that. Okay, we need the hull repair kits. Definitely. So we could actually...
Oh no. need to get some healing healing items for the for the ship So what I, what I need is ship parts. Ship parts and I can actually, I think I can buy them from Alpha Center I. Yeah, I suppose I need to upgrade my ship. Uh, that game style is actually def definitely looks like one. Two knights toasting against Notice each other. And broadcasting. Lopez to Amer. Jacqueline, are you there? Open? How the hell? I'm almost glad to hear your voice. <laughs> almost Listen, glad to hear. We need to meet. All of us. These spacers have got us on the ropes. What sort of game are you playing? We're not going to fall for another of your cons. No game. No rules. Times have changed. We need to move on or we'll all be the saddest little footnote in history. We can meet, but it'll be on my ship. Fine. Anna's already signed on, so meet you at the rendezvous. What about when? We can talk about it there. Fine. Remember, my ship. And that's the last of them. Stranger, let's meet up on Lomer's ship. I'll square away payment. But I have a feeling this ain't over, and there may be further paying work ahead. Ben Davage Dog. Spaceship Debris. Got my eyes on you. Well, my scanners. It's huge. 
didn't even scratch the paint. So, this is our savior, huh? Figured you'd need someone else to do something useful. Charming as ever. First things first, I'm pretty sure the spacers got the winds. No contact with them. All of them? My god. Shit. They were good people. They died. Needlessly. Because we couldn't get our act together. That's rich coming from you. You've scammed me time and time again, Alden. The spacers are a threat to us all, Jackie. And that, that is the salient point. Mistakes were made. We need to get past that. What I'm proposing is a mutual defense pact. Nothing else. Each of us throws in our ships, men, materials, and whatnot. Enough to protect all of our asses. I wouldn't give you one solitary ounce of Helium-3 if my life depended on it. Well, her life is depending on it. It does. <laughs> yeah. I think we all need to cool off. Stranger, a word? First things first. You did an honest day's work, you deserve an honest day's pay. Here. With heartfelt compliments. But I expect you know what's coming next. We're not military folk, and I'm not ashamed to say we are out of our depth. I'll pay you more, much more. If you can help kick the spacers out of our system for good. And coordinate our efforts to do so. Right you are. So we're not babes in the woods. Each family has a ship or two and hard men and women that can handle themselves in a firefight. The real well, problem best. is, admittedly, a self-inflicted injury. My family was here first, and when Liz sent other families here, perhaps I didn't take to it kindly. Might be I made an odd credit here or there at their expense. Something Lemaire especially has never let me live down. But now we need the Lemaires and the Bandas both, I reckon. Sounds like you don't deserve their cooperation. I guess you've been a saint. Yes. We all have skeletons in the proverbial closet. Just some of us, well, more than most. You have a graveyard in your closet. Now, but also in the future, we need a mutual defense pact. As our new mercenary commander, please talk with Band and Lemaire. Lemaire, God help us, especially we could use. Her family's got the most ships and crew by far. If she's a lost cause, Ben and I can muddle through. Hello, stranger. Your work in getting the satellites up? You've done us a good turn. I know it was paying work, but a lot of mercs wouldn't even take a list contract. You here to talk about the defense pack? No, we want to get a big sale. <laughs> Alpha was holding I figured he might. I mean, I agree that right now coming together makes sense. But going forward, it's hard to imagine Jackie and Alvin working together for the long haul without one winding up with a knife in the back. If you can get those stubborn mules to work together, really together... They might be able to see the sense of this defense pack going We could forward. put them in the same escape pod and throw to space. Not much of a choice, really. Well, the bandits will join the defense pack. We got one ship operational, another we can patch up. It's not much, but you'll have us when you need us. We need to stand together. It's as simple as that. So is the defense packed in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Just so you know, Alban is a con man and a thief. Associating with the likes of him reflects poorly on your character. I'm a mercenary. Don't be so certain. So here's the deal. Odds are good my crew can hold out against the spacers all by ourselves. If we're going to band together, I have the most to contribute and the most to lose. The smart play for my interests is the Lemaire's hunker down and outlast the storm. I may not be some sort of military expert, 
but you can't know that for certain. He turns. Well, if you're offering. <laughs> There are considerably safer ways of earning credits. I've been dealing with this for years. I trust my judgment. Uh, I, I don't know how this person actually maybe works. You're on the level, maybe you're not. But I know for damn certain Alban's crook. Sorry. I can't believe we're even listening to just the latest of all a defense. I can't. Okay. Let's load, load the game. I mean, this. So, this is our savior, huh? Figured you'd need someone else to do something useful. The problem, so, problem is that first things first, there's I'm no sure much, not much skill them. involved no in, in um, Persuasion minigame. And it's it's not really a mini game. It's just rolling a dice. They were good people. We died. We because we couldn't get our act together. That's rich coming from you. You've scammed me time and time again, Alden. The spacers are a threat to us all, Jackie. And that that is the salient point. Mistakes were made. We need to get past that. What I'm proposing is a mutual defense pact. Nothing else. Even if I have the persuasion skill here, yeah, I can I can get ranks. Okay, I need a need a point, probably. Yeah. So I add, add, add new points. Each of us throws in our ships, men, materials, and whatnot, enough to protect all of our asses. I wouldn't give you one solitary ounce of helium three if my life depended on it. The problem is, it does. I think we all need to cool off. Stranger, a word? First things first. Here. But I expect we're not known. I'll pay you more. All right, you are. So we're not big, but the root of the problem. My family was here. Might be I mean. But now we need. Listen, then Jackie come. But it's ancient history, and I guess you. We need to, as our new mer. Our mayor, God help her, if she's alive. Hello, stranger. I know it was pain. You here to talk about? List is long on ideas. Don't get me wrong, Nick. Might be worth a laugh. I mean, I agree. It's hard to... If you can get those stubborn, they might be able... If you say so. Well, it's not much, but... So, uh... So is the defense packed in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. I'll be here, fingers crossed and all that. Just so you know, Alban is associated. Lucky you then. So here's the deal. Odds are good. If we're going to band together, the smart play for my... In okay, so I could actually go with the credits. I or try to persuade once again. Military expert. Okay, tier three turns get the six points, so we need to use the. The problem is that I can fail even if I want to play the play it safe, and I don't have a option. So this is like really poor poor chance actually. Green green isn't isn't a sure way. I'm not afraid of a critical fight. success. Well, you might have a point. Hmm. Thank yeah, this is totally ro rolling and dice. To this defense pack for now. We band together. Not only can we deal with the current problem, but future ones as well. So is a defense pact in business? 
Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Wait, she's in? I heard you right. How in the hell did you manage that? Wait, words can do that? Like I said, miracles never cease. So, the sensors have picked up two contact groups, undoubtedly our spacer friends. We don't have many ships, but we can send them with you, or hold them in reserves to your call. You got it. I'll send a long word. After you deal with the spacers, meet back on my farm. I've got an idea how to find where the spacers are based. This is a bit, bit like Seven Samurai. <laughs> 